invention I've come up with. Uh, motorized my barrel. Um, it's just an old golf cart which I've mounted to the rear of it. Um, this was the front mount for the golf cart. I just used drilled it out, mounted my through the original axle of the barrel, and then welded this bar in place and bolted the say the framework of the golf cart to the this bar. Didn't necessarily need this bolt here. This was again the bracket that would have was on the original golf cart, but um, I, I put this on first to to see if it would work for a welded end in place. But you could obviously at this time using this at the fishery. Um, I don't need to take it away. It doesn't need to be put in a car or anything like that. Let's see this one of the TF gear juggernauts. I actually have it all welded up um, just to stop all the rattles. But no, it. Uh, you could actually make this detachable, you know, if you were to weld or attach this on with a pin. We're putting another bracket onto the, this part of the axle doesn't actually turn. Um, so you could put another bracket on here, attach it, for example, this on with a pin that you could remove. And obviously you could put this on with pins or some sort of wing nut that you could just simply screw it off and remove this, which would mean it would be portable. Um, it seems to work very, very well. Uh, so I've just attached then the, the handle of it onto my handle. Again, you could put this on a set of wing nuts or some sort of pins. But say I have it on, bolted on permanently because my gear just stays in this trolley all the time. But it seems to work very well. It's even got gears in it. So it drives the best. Made it a little bit harder to manoeuvre. With the juggernaut, you what we would have done was push the back down and spun the f maneuver the front round. It's made it a little bit um, less maneuverable, but providing you're not turning lots of corners on in and out of those tight areas, it shouldn't be a problem. It even spins the wheels. And what do you want? So you know, it works very well. Finds it going uphill with it now. You do just need to give it a wee, just a wee help in hand. But again, I would sort of imagine most of them are the same. Uh, once you put weight on them. But compared to the price of a power bar, at eight nine hundred pound, I actually got that golf cart given to me. Um, but I've looked about gum tree and stuff, and you can pick them up second hand for very little. On a hell of a saving, if you sort of DIY minded at all, you can soon mount something together. So time will tell with it, I'm sure we'll tinker with it as time goes on and improve it. But working well for now.